going on guys mega smith here and today we are going to be playing another league of legends ranked game this time we are going to be kennen in the mid lane versus a annie we will be trying to now that i know she has her q i will be trying to harass her down with my with my cues as much as often or as often as possible while also still securing my creep don't want to let her walk up and just get a cue off on me for no good reason gonna at least try and wait until she wastes that on the minion there but she doesn't but she also didn't get it uh, the CS I'm assuming okay we are going to be trying to work up our passive here from our W which we just got she just wasted her 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 passive and we missed our Q but that's okay we don't need it in order to continue to do damage here and we will passively get Uh, we will passively get Ooh, she's walking up let's not get ganked here that's one reason why I really like Kennen he's a very safe pick I didn't even see Shivana there for the longest time and I was still able to get away in fact Annie wasn't able to, uh, able to get her stun off there and um, and uh, Shivana wasn't able to get her her Q I believe no it must be like E her, her E off on me either. So, even though we're, we're pretty far pushed up here, we're still able to uh, play pretty reliably and safe here. And I didn't need to... If I had caught Shivana there with my E, she would have taken a little bit more damage. But uh, that was unnecessary, to say the least. Very... Um, ballsy play for no reason uh, it would have been nice if I had at least got the CS there even though I was trying to go for the little bit of damage on the, the Annie and you get it there I don't want her to get a free Q on me so I'm gonna act like I'm going for that CS and I do end up getting it anyway don't want her Ooh. Ah, I messed that up of course, while trying to harass Annie here, I'm also missing some CS. That's just something you've got to uh, take into account. Uh, that's just going to happen. So I don't know if this is going to be a... I think what's going to be a deciding factor for this lane is what happens once she gets ult, right? So she did end up getting the... Sun off there. If she pops level 6 here, I'm actually in a... Okay, so she's not going to actually get 6. Okay. I feel pretty confident now that I could go in on Annie here after a another successful Q. Uh, okay. I don't know if we're yeah okay so uh the 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 reason why we ended up dying there is because I had thought that her Q was down but of course uh, she has tibbers you're going to just die um I don't know if he's going to have a reset or what but um what I kind of want to end up doing here is buying these Moby boots and just like ganking other lanes. What I'm going to end up going into uh, my mid, especially since they have a Sona. Um, Sona is a very squishy character that I can just gank over and over again. And depending on what Annie buys here, I could also uh, kill her over and over again, even though she has the advantage right now. And the good thing with Kennen is that he does push in the lane pretty fast with his uh, with his kit. So I just want to be warding. I'm probably going to buy... Ooh. 
Okay, so if I had positioned correctly there, I wouldn't have needed to flash over the wall, but I'm glad I at least got the one assist, and then I'll be able to run back up to mid lane now and basically not miss any CS to the tower. I will, of course, miss the CS that had died to the, uh, uh, the creep fighting, but, uh, I also don't, I don't want to let her just walk up to me like I just did there. I wanted to get off my, um, I wanted to make sure that I got off my combo on the creep because I want to try and push this in as quick as possible again. I, so the magic resist actually probably just, the magic and I think it gives you armor as well. Yeah, the magic and armor resist probably just saved my life there, which is actually pretty cool that uh, I was able to get that off. I'm going to be buying probably a void. Eh, it would make sense to just go for the um, what am I trying to say here? It would make sense to go for the Zonias even still um, e even if they are building like magic resist which they're not it would just make sense as a team play to go for the what does she have? Okay, so she has that one kill up. I don't know where she is. So I just want to let the uh, team know that I don't know where she could be. And we will just be walking down to the bottom lane here again. Trying to get off something. If Thresh could... Uh, perhaps get a a hook here and a lantern maybe this lane is going to be pushing into our bot lane as well so that's really good for us our bot lane though isn't level 6 yet that's alright okay so that's all we have to do here is just come to bot lane every time we can and set up our ganks over and over again and now I'll be able to buy the seekers arm guard and walk back into the mid lane luckily Ka was able to hold it off for us so we're not missing too much experience around the map and I'll just E again here in a second to uh try and pick these up even though oh there we go got it don't know where Annie is just keep that in mind team so I basically every time my ult is up I want to be doing that I want to be providing the utility that my ult provides to the team in every way I can I'm gonna walk around here to try and provide top lane with a gank as well I'm going to ward this bush here, yes, yes, yes. and me and Kha'Zix are going to be taking red buff. And unfortunately, bot lane ended up dying there. That's okay. We'll just go back into the mid lane and farm another wave. I don't think that Kha'Zix will be able to take that. So I'm just going to do what I set out to do here. And I'll follow him, I guess, but like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back into the, the mid lane here and just try and get my farm up. Because even though I'm providing the utility to the team, I am letting my CS go down quite a bit. I'm going to just back now and... Uh, I kind of want to buy the, and eh, no, I, I want to buy the enchantments on the boots, but I'm going to go, I'm going to avoid that, go into the mid lane, clear a line, and go to bot lane. Don't know where Annie is, missed that creep. It's okay, we'll clear another line here since it's already here. 
and we've been wasting our ult here by a little bit like it's been up for since that last team fight by a dragon almost happened but I'm gonna make my way oh I'm gonna make my way down to bot lane here I don't have any energy yet that's okay I don't know what their bot lane is doing oh so they they see me now but uh, might as well get a, a Q in here or two or try to uh, since we're already here and Annie is going to be approaching us and, but Kha'Zix as well is going to be coming up so we might as well try and take down this turret we don't get the turret I think if we had a little bit of help there by there's a ward there uh, if we had a little bit of help there by the AD carry actually attacking the the tower we probably would have gotten it that's okay we will just go to the mid lane again clean up our creep or try to at least oh missed that one yeah our creep our creep for right now is going to be very low but like I keep saying the, the oh want to avoid Annie right now because she is undoubtedly stronger than us and the only thing we have on her is a very long range hmm I'm gonna actually oh I cannot do that okay that was a very good gank by Kha'Zix he did just enough damage there where I could uh, ult in there with my uh, or move into position there with my E ult and uh, take out Annie with ignite uh, and my stun so very lucky that he, he did that now I'm gonna have a little bit or I am gonna be a little bit further ahead of Annie especially since I've been helping out even though she probably yeah she has quite a bit of a uh, CS on me now okay we're okay now we'll just walk away from that we have 1250 here so we could potentially just go to uh, we could back here and uh, okay we wanna be very conscious of this and he could just flash ult us so uh, yeah that's exactly what I thought would happen and I didn't react fast enough to her flash which is I don't know I, I think that uh, I kinda feel like that's a ping thing because I definitely flashed like I wouldn't have been able to or I wouldn't have flashed if I was already stunned. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe I could go back and like just rewatch that. But um, I mean, it's not like it's the biggest thing. I I basically knew that's what she wanted to do just by the way that she was approaching um, the mid lane, and you know, she just obviously would want to get the the revenge kill there. So. Don't know where Annie is. Yeah, she's probably backed. She bought a Morelimacon, which is actually really good against our Cho'Gath. Um, and we're just going to clear that. Go down to the, the bot lane here. Hopefully our laners will get back before they start warding up down here. And I just want to be okay. So what I'm going to actually do here is clear bot lane then, because our team is going to be engaging in the mid lane here, and I'm a little bit out of position for that. So we will just clear this as quick as possible, 
and then work our way up to Annie actually. And since we have the Moby Boots, we'll be in position here quite shortly. We also have our Zonias, so we can use that as an advantage as well. We'll probably just E in here right away, even though Annie still has a stun. I was going to say a Zonias right away, and I probably should have after not being able to Zonias because of the Sona ult. Uh, I did not expect that to to come out, but that's okay. Uh, we, we literally did the best that we could with what we have in our arsenal right now. So I'm actually going to pro actually probably I'm probably going to buy a a Rabadon here. I'm gonna walk over to the Ezreal here and at least try to help out getting caught on our thresh here but that's okay I think the the void staff or the Rabadon maybe just both like I'll go for the Rabadon first okay I'm not sure if we can actually chase this guy actually after that I think we could Cool. Another 300 for me is actually going to really speed up my farming process here. Because at this point, I cannot just walk into creep and clear the waves, which is what I would like to be able to do. Don't want to get ulted here by Annie, so I'm just going to walk away. I'm going to go down here. Since I am building Mobies, it'll be pretty quick for me to go down here and clear a couple waves. Okay, and especially since they probably won't react to me being down. Oh, I don't have a sight on Caitlyn, so I'm actually just going to walk back over this way, please, game. Be a little bit smarter. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk up through the river, hopefully engage on Annie here. I don't know how low she is. I should have just, like, looked at, uh, at her health. That's okay. They, they got our mid turret there, but that's not the end of the world. Um, do don't know where Shivana is going, actually. So, I'm going to walk up here to sort of insulate Cho'Goth, and hopefully... Okay. So... That's that's pretty good, especially since like there's probably no chance that Cho'Goth actually dies now, especially since we have Shivana showing herself from the shadows. Now I'm gonna be going back in order to buy Blasting Wand, and then I'll make my way up the mid lane here. Maybe Thresh could get a, a nice hook engage and lantern me in. Uh, it would be nice if Cho'Goth was here as well. But, uh, doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon, so might as well just be trying to get a couple of Qs down on the enemy, poking them down, bringing their health down as low as possible, so that when we do fully engage here, we won't be caught fully with our pants down. So, again, mm, I should have just zoned right away after ulting. Um, normally what I do is try and get ult down W and then Zonias, but uh, I didn't have time to do anything. I basically ulted and then um, Sona... I mean, I, I could have. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, uh, I think that... I think I just timed it wrong, basically. So I am going to make my way up to the top lane here to try and stop this Vlad from taking 
our turret. I think I should be able to do it. Especially with my E. Yeah, and Cho'Gath is actually going to be here to stop him as well. I still have my Zonias here, so that's good. Oh, God. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. And I guess I'm lucky that, uh... Oh! Got her. Got her! Fuck. <laughs> well, a flash down. Camp the lane. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so I guess they sent three people top lane to protect Vlad, even though he ended up dying. And we're going to be able to get mid lane and probably uh, a Caitlyn here if Ezreal plays this right. Uh, nope, we're going to be... Oh, he probably wants to be putting his damage on the Caitlyn, even though... Sona is the easy target there. I'm going to go down to bot lane here so that I can get more farm. My farm is lacking very, very much this game. I am 4 and 5, but even still, I'm not far enough in ahead in my build where I feel comfortable team fighting as much. So, I should have went mid lane though. Look at that farm. It's okay. We will just E through this farm. Hopefully take it all out. Nope. Still. Oh, give me the cannon. Damn it. It's okay. Nah. Nah. So we'll walk away from the Annie, of course. Not willing to fight her just yet. I do not have a ward because I wasted it in the tri bush. But if I hadn't, I probably would have died and given her another 300, uh, another 300 gold. So... So I just want to be putting as much damage as I can. I, I mean, that's a Vladimir though, so he's just gonna heal up, and uh, you know, not much you could do against that other than uh, bursting him down, I guess. I'm pressing. I'm pressing Zonias. I, I don't know what I got hit by there to to make me. Uh, I mean, if the, I guess I got. I didn't even see I got ulted by um, I got ulted by Sona there didn't even know I thought it was the perfect opportunity you know everyone on their team was pretty confident that uh, you know they would be they would be stunned with the tib result so I went in with my ult to, to follow up because Annie of course didn't catch me uh, but they, she timed her ult, uh, I guess, just right. Anyway, going to be going to farm up here. I don't even want to engage on the Shivana. That's not my goal here. Even though Thresh did just get a pretty good lantern there. Okay. If I had followed him, we might have been able to to get her, but that's okay. We'll just go down to the bot lane here. Damn it. I even... I reacted way too slowly for me to... To get off of that trap, but that's okay. I mean, you know. The, uh, the, you know, they see my position for a couple of seconds. You know, it, it's not like that's gonna be a death sentence. Even though they probably know where the rest of the team is now, sort of. I'm just clearing this farm. I want to be able to engage here again with the team. So now that my ult is back up and that creep, uh, creep wave is dead, I'm going to make my way up into the lane here. We have Cho'Goth, so we should be able to actually... Uh, engage fairly well here. Uh, 
I thought that my W would be up by by then. But that's okay. Our teammates are actually going to Oh, come on. Give me the assist, please. No, he waited just long enough so that I don't get the assist. Anyway, um Yeah, we'll finish our Rabadons here pretty shortly. Actually, if I sell this, maybe I won't have to. 65 yeah, uh, I'll sell the Dorans uh, because I will not have enough. And actually, I don't think it's worth it for me to have those boots anymore. Uh, but I can't. I can't. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep those boots until I'm full build. That's what I'll do. It's probably a smart idea to do that so that I can continue to go to these side lanes, clear a wave or two. And then still join the team for these fights that we've been doing every every couple of minutes. And I, I do this quick enough where like they basically can't react, right? So right now I just saw like four of their team, right? And they're not going to be able to react to to me basically instant instant clearing the, these waves. So I'm going to. I guess keep pushing here because I mean <sighs> now that Vlad shows up it changes the dyna the dynamic of what's happening here a little bit so I'm actually going to walk up here and hopefully cut off the Caitlyn And I do. I don't know if I needed a flash, but uh, I definitely think it was uh, worth it for me to do that. Now I will go to top lane. And oh, you motherfucking trap bitch. Um, yeah, I'm going to go top lane here, even though Kha'Zix will probably clear. I don't know if he does. He have, no, he doesn't have a, a TM at. So I'll probably be pretty likely to at least get some of these. And my AP isn't high enough to instant clear all of these lines just yet, but uh, it's actually pretty close. Like if I go back here and buy an item, I might be, I might be able to. Okay, so I'm gonna clear one more, uh, yeah, one more line, especially since my team is. Well, I was gonna say distracting them, but. Uh, they ended up actually dying there, at least one of them. So, I don't know if that can qualify as a distraction if you actually uh, give your life to the to the enemy. Well, yeah, yeah, you can. You can qualify. Okay, never mind. That's just bullshit. Anyway, 2500 for the Void Staff will be really good for us, so I'm going to buy both of the parts. I cannot... I, I mean, I can try and hold them off here, but... Um, it's definitely not going to be... Ooh. I do quite a bit of damage once I, uh... Once I land my Qs. Okay. So there's no one in there. I still have my Zonias. So I'm not all that scared of... Getting engaged on. I will have my ult here in a second. I will be able to most likely clear this way... Ah, oh, okay. So the melee creeps are a little bit too strong for me, but once I get this void staff, which I will be pretty close to here in a second. I don't want to be tanking this, please. Thresh can land a... Uh Lantern on somebody? Nope. Okay. When did they... Oh, they did end up getting Baron. Okay. I didn't realize that they ended up actually getting it. I thought they had ended up trying to get it and we showed up. Oh, well. There it goes. I'm actually going to go into the 
Mid lane here. Clear a line. And I'm gonna go and peel for Ezreal actually. I will just. Okay. I didn't realize that she still had Tibbers. Uh, so that's just an overall bad engage for our team. Ezreal getting caught out. Um, puts a pretty big damper on things. And our engage is going to be we need Cho'Gath in order to fight. That's all. Well, you know, it's pretty easy to say to not fight with somebody. Why am I not moving? I wasn't sure what was going on there. Maybe I got caught by a uh, another Caitlyn trap. I very much don't doubt it. Anyway, we should be able to get this inhibitor even with my health being so low. I can... Ooh, that would have been a nice pick for us there. No. Well, yes. <laughs> the... Any ult is still pretty strong. I think that uh, if... I mean, they should be following... Or at least trying to follow Cho'Gath here. Um, that's not going to make it very likely that this Cho'Gath will want to team fight with us again. Um, anyway. I don't like... Yeah, I think, I think this will be a good buy for us. Uh, the... The Luden's Echo, especially giving us the movement speed, will be very nice. So I'm going to go to the bot lane here. I'm going to wait for my E to jump back up and then engage on the Caitlyn. Well, I'm okay with that, I guess. Her flash is down as well, so... She won't be able to reposition um, in the next team fight. Unfortunate that uh, I also let her hit me with the net. I might have been able to even still follow up after the fact. But uh, here, we, we have 28 seconds on the Baron, so we should be grouping up for that. I'm going to back and oh we can buy this so we will make our way up into the Baron pit hopefully hopefully we can engage pretty swell here don't know where their team is if we could get a we can get some more wards down in order to uh, predict their movements it'll make this team fight a little bit easier especially with that Annie stun don't want to just be grouped up like this it can be very dangerous for the health Mm. <sighs> well, at least I didn't waste my ult there. Uh, I didn't really... Or I didn't realize... That, uh... Oh, no. 
Eh, they shouldn't be able to clear it, especially since, oh, Ezreal should be up. Uh, I hope. Oh, Caitlyn is up, though, so yeah, it's probably over. I mean, yeah, Ka, Ka got caught out there, and I wasn't able to get into the team fight. I still didn't have, um, I still didn't have my ultimate, so I wouldn't have been able to perfectly engage there. At the very end of the fight, I would have been able to, but I didn't have anyone to clear the way for me there. And yeah, other than that, I think I think that was a pretty good game. Like I, I could have forced mid a little bit more, maybe. But I think what we did, especially going bot lane over and over again, it set us up for the most likely chance at a victory. But even still, um, I think if we had team fought a little bit earlier all together with the Cho'Gath, it would have made a big difference, but because we kept fighting alone, or not alone, but as a, a group of four without him, that, that made the difference in them being able to uh, come back and, and win over and over again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay? Bye.